following video details the contents of a Department of Defense document entitled Internment and Resettlement Operations, also known as FM 3-39.40. The document is 325 pages long and it is signed by Joyce E. Morrow, Administrative Assistant to the Secretary of the Army. It was created in 2010, however, it's just been recently leaked to the public via the internet and can now be downloaded from multiple sources. In the description below, you'll find a download link for the document. I strongly encourage you to download it yourself and to verify everything that's being said here. The document outlines military procedures for internment and resettlement of civilians, and it describes the layout and the administration of these internment camps. It clearly states on page 38 that it applies within U.S. territory, and it specifically addresses the detainment of U.S. citizens, as is indicated by the identification procedures for new prisoners on page 146, which states that social security numbers are to be recorded alongside their photograph and fingerprints. Included in the list of organizations which may be involved in these internment operations are the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, the Department of Defense, and the United Nations. On page 56, the document outlines the responsibilities of psychological operations officers within the camps, among which it states that a PSYOP officer develops and executes indoctrination programs to reduce or remove antagonistic attitudes and identifies political activists. On page 281, the document goes into more detail regarding the role of psychological operations within the camps, specifically in regards to pacifying the population and ensuring cooperation. On page 238, it gives the conditions for the use of deadly force in such camps. Among the justifications for lethal force, it includes to terminate an active escape attempt. That point right there should make it clear that these camps are not benevolent disaster relief type facilities. On page 244, the document calls for the use of snipers during riots to quote, scan a crowd and identify agitators and riot leaders for apprehension and fire lethal rounds if warranted. On page 260, it shows the basic layout for a facility focusing on detainment. It is depicted with interrogation areas, tribunal areas, and mortuaries. Each detainment facility is designed to hold 4,000 prisoners, and they are depicted with multiple levels of barbed wire separating compartments within the facilities, with a double barbed wire fence enclosing them, and watched over by 24 guard towers. On page 261, the document depicts the layout for what they call civilian resettlement facilities, which are designed to house 8,000 people. Though it uses the word resettlement, the plans show multiple levels of barbed wire dividing the sections of the facility, with double barbed wire fencing on the outside, as well as 16 guard towers. On page 262, the layout for facilities designed for what they call non-compliant prisoners is shown. These camps are designed to hold up to 300 prisoners, they have three interrogation centers, and are guarded by 13 guard towers. Now, if there's any question whether these plans are active or just theoretical, this should be settled by the fact that the U.S. Army has been running ads for job positions in these camps since 2009, and apparently, they're still hiring. Once again, if you look in the description, you'll find all the links you need to verify this information. It's important to note here that this document was created in 2010, which was under the Obama administration, and it predates the NDAA of 2012, which authorized military detainment of U.S. citizens. This clearly shows a long-term agenda at work. If you believe that this is important information for people to know about, then please share this video with as many people as you can. Share it on Facebook and on Twitter. Send it in emails to friends and family. Especially send it to anyone you know within the police and military. A smart strategy would be to download the PDF yourself and email it to people as an attachment with a link to this video so that they know how to navigate the document. Oh,